Whoa, tough guy. Come on, tough guy. Calm it down. Calm down. Yeah, let's talk about that. Hey guys, as always, a big good you do to each of y'all. Thanks for stopping by. I always mean that. The other day I said a little bit about training and what you're doing and I'm doing out there on the real world to get ready for bad, bad situations. A thousand of y'all responded. I read every one of them up until about two hours ago. So some more may have come in, but one stood out to me. I want to talk a little bit about that, and I'm going to tell you a story of something that happened to me out there in the street just yesterday. Not going to take long, but it's a little bit of a doozy, all of it together, because this matters. The strategy we use in our day-to-day -day lives, it does matter. So I want to think and talk about this just a little bit today. Again, it won't take long, but this should be, I hope, helpful and thought-provoking. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do this a whole bunch on Spicy Friday. But for today, buckle up. Here we go. Today's episode is brought to you by my friends at Euro Optic. Massive selection of scopes and range finders binos, and all the Rudy Tooty Point and Shooties. Now get this, their inventory shows up in real time. What that means is if it shows that it's in stock, yeah, it's actually in stock. And after you order, it ships the same day. So it's really, really cool. They've got all the stuff. It shows up in real time. It ships the same day and it gets there fast. And to that, I can give a big thumbs up. So head over to eurooptic.you know what and start a shopping and check out all that cool stuff that shows up in real time and ships are really fast. Uh, big thanks to those folks ever at Eurooptic. Big thank you to all of y'all as well. Thank you for every thumbs up. Y'all crushed it yesterday. Thank you for that. Those of y'all, it's probably 40, 50 of you that have been unsubscribed. Thank you for getting resubscribed. Appreciate that as well. All right, the other day I was talking about training and I just said, hey, are you training? Are you training regularly? And talking about muscle memory and being able to pull. And a lot of guys, there was a lot of responses, a thousand, and a lot of guys were a little bummed out. There was a couple uh, threads that were common, common threads. One was, yeah, it's expensive. It's a little expensive to train. Another one was, ah, ammo's really expensive, but also hard to find. And then the other thing is just time and then range time. So many folks live so far away from a range. And one thing that I, you know, I didn't go into it is really short, but you know, I do a lot of just how are things coming out? How are things coming out of here? And like for me, my, my spare, which direction is it coming out? Nope, it comes out this direction straight up for me, straight in. I've got really good muscle memory like that because I've been working at it. And there's a lot of guys that are really, really bummed out about it because they just don't feel like they can do it or they can't invest in a, a dry fire system. Great comment came in and he says it's so much better because I was a miss and I didn't really go into it too far. Paul says this, he says, do I train? Yes. Every day in situ situational awareness, de-escalation, avoidance, all the mistakes you have to make to get to the point of drawing and shooting. I get it, shooting is sexy, but the other skills seem more important and should be used every day. I think that's so good that, and I'm going to say something that you may have never heard, but I, I think it's so good to be thinking primarily situ situational awareness about de-escalation. The average civilian, you and I, have a 0.0% .0 chance of ever being in a firefight. 0.0. .0. Yes, there's some other numbers out there. Well, actually, it's possible it is but it's lower than 0.0. .0. The, the other numbers are out there. It ain't gonna happen. Clint Smith just today on Instagram was talking about how the average person has a much, much, much higher uh, probability of having a house fire and having a life-threatening situation there. Speaking of Clint Smith, I did a video once talking about the greatest, the greatest lesson I've ever learned from him. And I'm honored to call him a friend. I've been out there a bunch. And the one thing that stuck with me is he's like, tough guy. Calm it down. Never stick up your middle finger again in public. And that's not literally that, but that or anything like that. Stop confrontations in the street. That is, is, is paramount. Avoidance is the most important. Whenever I hang out with people, if they're walking through a parking lot or we say bye, hey, see ya, and it's dark outside, I say the same thing every time. Head on a swivel, head on a swivel. See y'all, head on a swivel. 
situational awareness. I'm reading right now some spy craft novels, not that I'm trying to be a spy, but just I think it's interesting and I think it's getting me, you know, just a little bit helping me just a little bit. Now, to talk about this, this gentleman, Paul, who what he said on that, that response was situational awareness, number one, are you aware? Where do you park when you pull up somewhere? Are you thinking about the end from the beginning? Are you backing in if you can? De-escalation, that's important. One thing that I do is back to situational awareness. I always, always, always have my car key on me, always. And you know, if I'm at my nine to five, a lot of folks will leave their, their car keys in their office. Yeah, too bad. Sorry, we have a situation, you're walking, and you're walking back a long way. So for me, I, that's one thing, maybe out of a thousand that I do, just keep my car key with me. It's situational. De-escalate, comp, yep, yeah, mm, yeah, no, no problem here, buddy, no problem. You're the winner, mm -mm, we're good, and I'm out, gone. And then avoidance, that's a really important one. All right, my story from yesterday, I pulled up, and I'm not a big beep, beep, beep guy, bang, and, and I'm not, I'm not a road rage guy, road rage guy. Um, I pulled up to a stoplight, busy traffic, it's Christmas, it's, it's Christmas season here in Johnson City, and I pulled up to a, a traffic light. I was number two in line, kind of going up a little bit of a hill, red light. Red light turns green, individual in front of me, I can see, I can see them in the mirror, I can see them right through the, through the back glass, head down, phone up, playing on the phone. Sit there a minute, people are going by, turn lanes going by, pop, 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 pop. Okay, beep, little friendly beep, beep. One, one, one little, one little beepy. <sighs> they lost their mind. Window down, fingers going out me, out the door, out the window, out the window, door opens, stands up and comes, squares off of me and comes at me right on the car. My shirt's going up, just very gently going up. And here is, I actually, I, I think, I think I did pretty good. I was wearing sunglasses. And I just looked away and pulled up my phone like I was doing something else. Now, I'm still looking right here, 100% here. But they can't tell that. So I'm here. And they did this, and they kind of stopped, and they, they realized I weren't, wasn't looking at them, got back in their car. I pulled away from that, thought through it, and I thought, that was not, I kind of did it on accident a little bit, just pretend like I was distracted, playing on my phone, made sure my doors were locked, but I was also hands coming up. You know, think one's coming up here, and I've also got my phone up doing my best, situational awareness. And that is also de-escalation. And they got back in their car. Their car was broken down, so they couldn't go. I got out of the turn lane. <laughs> the person behind them beeped them some Lexus, beeped them. They got out and came at the Lexus also. So it was like crazy spider monkey stuff. I wanna say this, that, that Paul said this in that, in that response, shooting sexy. Yeah, it is, it's, that's the fun part. That's the fun part. This part, in and out, pow, in, back. Practicing that, not so much, but it's free. The price is right. Thinking through all of this stuff, that's an incomplete walkthrough of all of this stuff, but I hope it does get you thinking. What do you think? Let me know right down below. Tomorrow we're doing the uh, Spicy Up Friday. It's going to be a fun, so... Rudy Tutti, point and shoot team. Also, some of y'all asked, I haven't said in a while. Yep, things that protect us from my cold, dead hands. Bye.